So here again is the antiques and art. Before me, I have two Civil War letters written by the same man. He's a captain. I don't want to give you all the details because part of the fun is reading the letters yourself. But I do want to tell you that, that he's talking about being in the war, saying that he's been in some of the toughest times that he's ever been in, that he was in uh, captured and in prison for four months, and then he got away from rebeldom, as he said. And um, then he goes on to talk about an expedition that he was on, which was a total failure. Um, quite a few people were shot, some people died. And then he went on to talk about the, I believe it's the general, some of these words are hard to read, at least for me, but he gives the names of the generals and, and the different officers that were involved. So that would be fun to research and, and find out exactly who they were and what became of them. But he says that uh, General Banks is not a good field officer, that he'd be better, you know, doing something else, but, but he is too much of a, I'm not sure what that is, maybe a fancied man? But it's interesting to get the soldiers, or the, well, he's a captain, but he's a lower, lower on the ranks, man's uh, perspective of his superior. Uh, um, great, great letter, lots of information. Lots of writing, full, full page. He was writing to his aunt and uncle. Um, and, it, and I have another one here. I'll do another YouTube video, and then you can see the content in that one as well. Subscribe to this video if you'd like, and you can see the rest of them as well. And um, if you have something great that you want to share with me, I'd love to hear from you if you've got letters or any kind of Civil War memorabilia that you're looking to sell.